you doing? Clear, how you doing? You ordered something already? That's not act like. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Really, don't matter that much to me for it even be an issue at all. Really, you brought really, up some issues. You know, I don't give a f about that. What you give a f about? Everything but you. <laughs> <laughs> the baby hairs have definitely moved past the eyebrows into her vision because the bitch can't see clearly at all. <laughs> you need some therapy. Now you need to speak to somebody. Huh? 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 You need some therapy. Mm. Whoop, whoop. Here I come. You keep making you assumptions. Cup of wine. You keep your ending there. That's a couple words. She gives me all therapy. She drunk. What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to talk about Love and Hip Hop episode 10 of season 11. And Erica Banks, I. How can I say this? I'll be so. I'll just be embarrassed because not only did you get beer, wine, whatever doused in your face. Um, it followed up with a bop to the skull, and Rennie Rucci, that's a big girl. <laughs> Y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. <laughs> yeah, let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out. I'm a famous lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, want it, secure in the back. All right, so let's start off with this whole situation with Erica, uh, Erica Mina, Sierra and Bambi, they all congregated into the um, you know, at the house, just talking, talking about you know what's going on, this, that, and the third. But you know, they over here go to like this somber moment. Yeah, that's something you need to know. And me and Sierra promised each other we would. And I wanna, I just wanna cry because I don't want you uh, to think. That what the f is going on? Sierra called. She's like, girl, you know, we gotta tell you something. Bambi's like, what's going on? So Sierra pops it off and just like, yeah, you know, Safari was over here texting me, talking about, you know. This, that, and the third, that he always had a crush on me, this, and the third, and he wouldn't be in a relationship. Why don't? What's up? Is everything okay with Erica? He's like, yeah, I want to be in a relationship with you. What? But let's say this was true. For you to just say, I want to be in a relationship without dating someone, courting someone, going through the, you know, the highs and lows, trying to get to know someone, just go straight to, I want to be in a relationship with you, is crazy to me. And that's why y'all relationships never last. One, two... It's weird, Sierra, because you said you reached out to Safari talking about your marriage to him. Well, I was letting him know the that was going on with me and Eric, and he kept texting me. But I don't know the time frame, but if it's somewhere recent, she said a month ago. So if if Eric was going through all the situation with Safari, why would you even be engaging with him while she'd been going through this whole situation with Safari? You know, like it's been a couple years that she's been going through the situation with Safari. So why would you even engage with that man? One, Two, if it was a long time ago, I mean, why haven't you brought that up? I don't see. It was something about the whole situation seemed kind of sketchy. I don't know. Erica, she trusts her. So I'm just like, go ahead. But it is kind of trifling that Safari is over here reaching out to one of Erica's best friends. So I'm just like, girl, it is what it is. Um, you know, Safari over here. So Safari over here bring up that, you know, he's dating the model of Negla. From Jamaica. And he ain't even say nothing. I knew from Jamaica. Oh, you was in Jamaica with him? With him. He, you he was in Jamaica with him? Was, they, no, don't, don't, they don't. Stop. And, you know, it's funny because she was trying to say, oh, my God, oh, we would never date. We would never date. We would never date. Oh, that, I don't. I don't shit where I eat at or blah, blah, blah. But my whole thing, girl, y'all end up dating. Y'all end up, you know, being together. And it just makes you look like one a liar, too. It's just weird. And then all he gonna look like is the man. Like, oh, you, you know, I got a mata. I, da, da. It's gonna make him, like, boost him up. I'm just like, it's crazy to me. Then, you know, Scrappy, he's, he's over here with Diamond. Hey, Diamond. Yeah, that's Diamond. That's Diamond. You know, we were flirting, you know what I'm saying? We did, you know what I'm saying? I'm a flirt, what can I say? But, and you know they over here chit chatting talking just like as friends but do it seem like there's more this sexual attention hell yeah you know they seem like there's like some type of attraction there they used to date so obviously but you know he talks about you know the tight face squad <laughs> all that stuff she done send a little goons at me you know what i'm saying the tight face squad <laughs> And you know how I said this in my other video that you know they are going so hard without noting knowing all of the facts that they only know one side and they're supposed to be friends or friendly with Scrappy. They didn't get to know his side. They didn't want to hear his side. All they did was got Bambi's side, ran with it, and they kept poking and poking and poking and poking and poking. And then when he came back, and now do I agree with the way he handled the situation? No, but when he came back at them, you can't be mad at him when he telling y'all, leave me alone, stop bringing up the situation. I understand you're gonna be on her side, but you know, you ain't gotta bring it up to me. So, 
you got Sierra talking about you need to do the right thing. You need to do the right thing. Then you got Eric over here like, do you still love her? Is that what you do? Do you still love her? And it's just like, why in the, why do y'all care that much? It should not even be that deep. Y'all both are going through situations yourself. Like Sierra, you got a man that you don't want and he don't want you. Erica, you got a man that's over here get everything that's walking so i'm just like girl y'all should have a plenty to worry about besides bammy and scrappy right so this rennie rucci and erica situation right you know next time i see you we just have a conversation mm -hmm. you had a problem this was just weird i feel like you did weird i think even saying like i so my whole situation is from my the gathering information i guess it's all about some type of man oh lord again like you were talking to my man um, while I was trying to be with him. Erica saying like, oh, um, you were talking to my man, my ex-boyfriend, while we were trying to get back together or talking this and the third. Since from the jump with Rennie because she should understand that talking to my ex while I'm with him is a big problem, especially when I put time into this relationship. I find it funny that Erica's talking about, oh, well, Rennie knew that I, I was with my ex. First of all, he's not your boyfriend. Second of all, the time frame that y'all, you put into your relationship, that has nothing to do with nothing. Like y'all not friends, y'all not cool. So so she don't owe you no type of loyalty, no type of girl code, nothing. She, to be honest, y'all just two regular girls on the street. So if she was talking to the dude, that ain't got nothing to do with you. You need to talk to him. Bring that to him, not to her. Rain is like, okay, well that's not true. You know, he hit me up, um, but you know, it was nothing. There was no pressure for both of us. Like it was whatever. But you know, it started to, cause I really felt like when Erica sat down, well, when Randy sat down with the meeting with erica i feel like erica really thought she was going to eat this scene up like she was so confident just comfortable like yeah honey you know I don't, i'm not worried about you that's one thing i'm not worried about you she probably about me not speaking to you it obviously was an issue you know i don't give a about it what you give a about everything but you Ooh. <laughs> That's one thing I'm not worried about you. She was really throwing out the insults, and I see that. Like I'm not saying I'm Rennie or who was right or who was wrong, but I'm definitely on Rennie's side. Cause I feel like she was very trying to be calm, trying to come to a understanding of what's you know the problem. But you know, Erica was trying to be real cunty, trying to give like too 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 too, too much. Rennie, we're two different people. Baby. That's what it's giving. We Rennie, we're definitely two different people. Two different levels. Definitely no. Two different levels. Baby, please don't ever two ever try levels. to flatter yourself like that. And I feel like what happened was what happened. Like, girl, you try to give too much, and that's what it was. You got slick in the mouth. You need some therapy. Like, no, you need to speak to somebody. Huh? 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 You need some therapy. Mm. Like and she threw drink in your mouth and just bopped you inside your head. I'm just like, girl, that's sad. You're ending there. That's a. Oh, shit. I want my 20% bitch. But y'all, this is just a short video. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.